All right, we're going to wrap up with head coach Seb Hines. Uh, before I do, I want to run through a few stats. I was going to do this before the players, but I think it's more impactful for before Seb. So uh, with the win, this extends the club's unbeaten run to 14 games to start the season. The six goals scored tonight are the most in a game in club history. These will all be in our match recap, too, so you can keep up. Uh, this marks the largest margin of victory in club history. This today was the highest attended game of the year and the third all-time in Orlando Pride history. Barbara Banda became the first player to score 10 goals in her first 10 NWSL games. As of this moment, she leads the league with 10 goals and is leader of the Golden Boot Race. Uh, with two goals and two assists today for Banda, that was the first time since June 17, 2017, that a Pride player has totaled two goals and two assists in a game. The four second half goals are the most ever scored by Orlando and a half. And most importantly, Haley Carter turned 40 years old today. <laughs> she appreciate you saying that. <laughs> all right, so with all of that in mind, Seb, how do you feel after this game? Yeah, I mean, it's an outstanding performance. Um, you know, flawless, really. You know, the amount of goals that the players scored and to get a clean sheet. Um, I think most importantly, it was for the fans tonight. I think when you look at the fixtures and you look at days like today um, you know it means a lot to the to the community and so we had to do our job tonight and the players fully did that you know they put a real show on for the fans and the supporters who have stuck by us and, and gone through you know moments of adversity um, you know eight years ago and so that that performance epitomizes what this team's about and the the determination their grit and their relentlessness to to go after it and um, get a get a comprehensive win. Austin? Being able to, to get three goals in the first 85 minutes and then three goals in the last eight, nine minutes of the game, what does that show you about the, the, the energy and the resiliency of, of this team, especially with, with Marta and Barbara, who had been out there for 90 plus minutes, still running as hard as they were in the first minute, uh, chasing down balls and, and setting up those goals? Yeah, we had um, we had a good chat after the North Carolina game because we left the game, you know, feeling disappointed that we weren't able to score the goals that we uh, we created. But you could see tonight there was a a real passion, a real hunger to to put the ball out back of the net, and there were some really good goals tonight. Um, and I still think we left some on the table as well, which is remarkable. But yeah, um, to end the game with Adri, Ali, uh, Barbara, and Marta as a as a front four is is pretty scary. And as the game went on, you know, you could see the spaces and the opportunities that presented themselves. I thought their goalkeeper made some really good saves as well. You know, shout out to her um, coming up and making some important saves. Um, but yeah, it's nice to score late on because I don't feel like we've done that all year. Um, we've scored a lot of early goals. We've gone into games, you know, scoring, I think, within the first 20 minutes of games. And then, you know, second half hasn't really been the same. And, you know, the message to the players at half time is, you know, 2 0 is always a, a dangerous score line. We had to make sure we scored that third goal. And to get it so uh, quickly after the half time was really important for us. And then I think that momentum and that kind of settled us into the rest of the game. Go oh, down the line here, Mike, Sean, Javier. Seb, uh, no. kind of just to follow up on that question, uh, Marta said uh, uh, after those two games that you guys were on the road, in which you guys got the the, the two draws, um, the team wasn't satisfied with those with those two results, um, performance and the results. What does that kind of say about the team in regards to the way the standards are now? That the team isn't going to settle with with a draw, but the standards has been raised in not only just regards of how the team performs, but when it comes to getting results like, like we've seen tonight. Yeah, it's a testament to them and their, their drive and their hunger. Um, I think it's always difficult to pick up points away from home, you know, especially in environments like San Diego and North, North Carolina who haven't given up any points to anyone. And so, yeah, to leave leave those uh, environments with a bit of sweet taste in your mouth, knowing that you've you've performed well, but there's still a little bit left there. And so, you could see tonight um, that you know what they did in those last two games really showed in their performance today. Is was you know incredible to get into those positions and and be relentless and and score the goal and put the ball in the back of the net, and it's a comprehensive win. 
we still know there's a lot of games still still to be played um but i think that what this the players have have set for themselves you know they they want that consistency um and especially at home as well you know we've got the backing of the fans we've got you know this tough environment that we've created um for any team to come here and try and try and feel like they've got a win uh, and so we use that as fuel going into every game that you know the home games really matter to us um but yeah every game's different any every p opponent's different we've now got two games on the road again um and so we just want to continue that mom momentum and that belief going into the next two games sean Kerry Lawrence had um, a part in a goal tonight, almost a part in two goals tonight. Um, can you talk about her performance tonight, and especially considering how she's had such a long time coming back from an injury, um, what that means to have her have such a, uh, an impact on a game? Yeah, Carrie's Car gone through a lot in her career here, um, you know, mostly last year with, with an ACL tear. And so having her back this year is, is, has a feeling of having a new player. Uh, you see her quality, you see what she brings to the, to the group. Um, you know, she's played centre back uh, a couple of times. We felt it was a great opportunity for her to get onto the field and play right back and, and use her energy and her, and her athleticism down that right hand side. And she created a lot of problems for Utah tonight. Um, and yeah, it just means that, you know, every player needs to be ready because we need to call upon them you know Carrie's missed some games she had, she's been an unused sub tonight she got an opportunity and she did really well in in that position so it just shows the togetherness of the team and and um, making sure that every player is ready to go out there and perform and keep that standard uh, really really high um, on the field awesome so um, Barbara has 15 goal contributions in 10 games um, You've talked in the past about how she's just been able to, to come in and kind of be her and, and play her game. F from your perspective, how do you kind of go about coaching a player like her and kind of finding the balance of, of you know, putting her in positions to succeed and just letting Barbara be Barbara? Yeah, the, the two goals are very different, right? So the first goal had a back post. Um, we talked a lot about uh, coming into this game, being in the whip for the goal, being in goal scoring positions when we're in crossing positions. And so she took that information on and she put herself in a, in a, a threatening position. Um, and then a second goal is, is just raw talent. You know, her speed is incredible. Um, she makes something out of nothing and having the calmness to go around the keeper and slide with her left foot. So there's the balance within that. Um, I still think, you know, which is crazy because you just talked about her goal contributions. There's still elements uh, in her game that she can uh, improve on. And that's our job as, as, uh, as a staff is to make sure that we get her as complete as possible, um, which is a, a scary thought because of what she's doing right now. Like you mentioned, 10 goals in 10 games uh, and it's her first year in, the, in this league. And so there's still uh, areas of improvement for her. And, so, and she's still young and, and still wants to learn and wants to grow and, and show everyone what she's capable of doing in one of the hardest leagues in the world. Anything else for Seb? Great. Thank you, Seb. Thank Congrats you. Again. Yeah, appreciate it.